I mean, th there's a creepy PC mm -hmm. thing out there that really bothers me. So is Seinfeld right? Is there a creepy PC thing, PC thing out there, or has the king of comedy just fallen behind the times? All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome Gavin McGinnis, columnist at uh, TackyMag.com, author of Death of Cool, and panel member on Fox News Channel's Red Eye joins us. Good to talk to you again, Gavin. Um, Happy first to be of here. All, well, there are two things here. I want to get that, that media, the media reaction, the left's reaction to Seinfeld's reaction to what's going on in this country. But let's start with Seinfeld. Uh, you wrote a great piece called Diagnosed with Liberalism. Are you surprised that Seinfeld is uh, speaking out and, and feels the way he does? Well, he's one of the few because he can afford it. When you got $500 million in the bank, you can say what's on your mind. And that's about the only people who can be free in America today. Well, that's true. No, that, and they made that point on, on, on MSNBC. Uh, but, you know, he even took his own daughter to task and, and, and used her as an example and a, a, a kind of a, uh, a measuring stick for the youngsters and said, you know, I said to my daughter, oh, when you go to college, you'll meet lots of boys. You say, oh, Dad, that's so sexist. And then he said they, they throw terms like sexist and racist around and they don't even know what they're talking about. So he's, you know, he's really in, indicting uh, not only the, the climate, politically speaking, in this country, but a whole generation, his own daughter's generation. Yeah, and that's another big reason he's mad is because it's affecting his own kin. And I think that's why America is caring about political correctness, because there's something really intrinsically American about comedy, especially stand-up comedy. No other country does it. Britain sort of does it, but they're really mimicking us. And the fact that PC is now affecting something that is so dear to us, we're finally saying, all right, all right, that's it. It's like if a fat guy was sitting there letting you uh, infect his, his culture, but then you go to grab his Twinkie and he goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Right, right. All right, well, how do you think, I mean, look, I, I, I've had, I've had uh, dealings with Larry David many years ago and Richard Lewis and, you know, there's so, especially Richard Lewis, once he found out I was politically conservative, that was the end of, of our, our little friendship. So how is this going to sit with the Larry Davids of the world? And again, not whether he cares or not, whether it affects him financially or not, I see them all over the place together. Um, does this cause a rift between him and his liberal friends or not? Yeah, it's a funny thing because the liberals started this and a lot of them were comedians. I mean, most comedians are liberal, but this is now affecting their bottom line. I mean, comedy clubs are going to close if we can't do jokes anymore. So the liberals are seeing the mess they made. I mean, we see this with uh, that NAACP chick. They said that that you can be a woman if you're born a woman. And then they, this woman goes, well, I was born black. And then they go, oh, wait a minute. What we're seeing now is the liberals tangled web they've woven for themselves. No, no, I agree. But I'm, I'm interested in you're in the business and you're you got your finger on the pulse. I'm just interested. Do, do, do Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld, do, does their friendship, you know, uh, d deteriorate because of this? Or do you think David somehow feels the same way? I think David feels the same way. I think all comedians have are admitting they made a mess. Now, they may not admit culpability, but they're realizing that the liberal thing is a mess and it's destroying comedy. David Tell said stand up is over. Chris Rock is the one who told Jerry about the colleges. Jerry Seinfeld saying it now. They're all realizing that they have to change. And I'll tell you, I hand out, hang out at Stand Up New York quite a bit, and there's a young generation of comics, Legions of Pod, uh, Legions of <laughs> They're all on Anthony Cumia's network coming up. And the young, young guys in their early 20s, they're not tolerating this anymore. Yeah, no, all right. So, so, so you know, now the reaction uh, from at least the panel that I saw on MSNBC, and I can't name you the panel, but hearing things like, Ah, you know, why doesn't he write some new jokes? So or you heard her say, uh, Alex Wagner, oh, it, or is he just out of touch? So out of touch, why doesn't he write some new jokes that basically, I guess, the implication is are politically correct? Um, he's so rich, who cares? Uh, he's an old guy. The one thing they didn't say, which I was shocked, was he's an old white guy. I mean, are you surprised that the left on MSNBC is going to, you know, trash him as if he's old garbage now? Well, no one can, because he's a god. And... I love it when someone with this kind of reputation says something because they don't know how to attack him. And in America, even the left, deep down, they really revere successful businessmen. They revere the rich, whether they admit it or not. So no one wants to go up against Jerry because not only has he been successful, but he's earned it. And I think the left now, this week is their worst week ever for them because all their myths are exploding in their face. What, what else is happening? Well, the NAACP thing. I oh, was yeah. Oh, yeah. About. Okay. Okay. Well, but, but Gavin, I, 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 uh, what's her name? Melissa Harris Perry 
talking about that uh, just like you could be a woman in a man's body, you could be black in a white person's body. <laughs> well, I'm glad you brought that up because Melissa Harris Perry has a horrible secret looming over her head. She grew up white. So she's sitting there sweating going, uh, it doesn't really matter how you grew up, it's how you identify now. Is it hot in here? Because it's just a matter of time before someone looks at pic pictures of her child and goes, wait a minute. Wait, are you saying you she's, are you saying she's not, wait, we got 20 seconds. You're saying she's not black? She is, she has black skin, but she's whiter than this NAACP woman. She's as white as me. All right, all right. Uh, always she grew good. up white. Always good to talk to you, my friend. We're coming back. Uh, don't go away, folks.